These are the new crystal ball gowns for the mini doll Disney princesses. Today I want to talk to you about what are they, why are they, where would you get them and would you even want to get them? Bricomotion. Hello, Claire here. Where can you get these mini dolls? Well, you can get them currently in sets. They came out in 2022, probably won't be around for that long. So if you really, really, really like them, I would suggest getting them sooner rather than later because I have a feeling they're not selling that well. We have gotten Anna and Elsa each in their separate little set. And then we got one bigger set that featured Aurora, Tiana and Merida. So we have five crystal ball gowns in total. Each ball gown is of another color and all of them feature this great effect of opalescence. First, I want to talk about what I think is good about these crystals, ball gown crystals or crystally ball gowns. This is the first thing that I actually like about them. The skirt piece itself serves as storage for the upper piece of the mini doll. That way you are maybe less likely to lose the head or the hair piece. Maybe? Mm, I'm not sure that the connection from the crystal to the top of the crystal box is better than the connections we have between the ball gown and the torso and the torso and the head and the head and the hair. From all of them, the head and the hair seems like the loosest one. So I'm guessing the hair piece falls off most commonly. So maybe this is a way where that does not happen as often. I don't know. I will have to admit here that I have no idea how other people transport their mini dolls. Do they take them out just like that? Probably. I mean, I wouldn't, but that literally means nothing for the rest of the world. Regardless of that, it's a fun little storage space. And the top even has an anti-stud, which means you can attach it to any regular Lego surface. The other nice thing about them is that you can use the top as an umbrella. Ella, Ella, e, e. Now, I personally have not found a way where I can make Tiana wear the umbrella in any natural way. Her hair piece gets in the way and the umbrella is just not large enough for the mini doll. But anyway, it's a nice gimmick. The third thing that I like about these dresses is that they look way nicer in person than I can show you in any of my videos because they are made from this opalescent material that is just amazingly beautiful. That's what it is. And you can appreciate it only if you hold it in your hands. No picture or video is going to do them justice. So yes, if Lego really had to do this, this was definitely the right color choice or color family. Style, way of production. But now we come to the things that I don't like about them. I do not like that they are translucent. Now, if you want them to be a crystal, it has to be translucent. But if it has to be a ball gown, then the translucency is kind of really not the point. What I'm questioning here is just the whole concept of crystal ball gowns. However nice it sounds on the surface, by the sheer fact that one is supposed to be translucent and the other definitely isn't, at least as far as we are talking about Disney princesses and a children's toy. I, I don't think this was the best way to go. The second thing I have a problem with is that these crystal ball gowns are taller than the usual ball gowns Lego mini dolls wear. And also all of the skirts, pants, tights, dresses, everything else has the same height except for these crystal ball gowns. I assume that is because they wanted the 
upper part of the mini doll to fit in there and if it were shorter it probably wouldn't however I am still not that much convinced that this feature is needed as much as I would just like my mini dolls to fit with each other for example if I were to put the crystal gown Elsa next to any other Elsa and especially if I bring in all of the other Elsas you will see the odd one out and here I will have to admit that this thing would not bother me nearly as much if the princesses that we got would be Elsa, Cindy and Ariel like we have gotten quite a few of those throughout the years but like the big set includes okay Aurora she has been in a few sets already so I can forgive that one but we also have Tiana and Merida Tiana was a long time coming I should know because I had already painted one uh, myself and then Lego made her and Merida was only here for a short while not many people got the set so there are actually not that many Meridas around and many people do want to have the complete set maybe they don't even like Merida as much but they want the complete set so the price for Merida on Bricklink is quite steep and people wanted a newer version both to keep the prices down and so she would get a better face because that old face was just it, it, it was not it not, not Merida at all and now Lego has finally made another Merida and you put it next to all of the other princesses it's like yeah this is not gonna work this does not look good at all to get back why I went on this whole tangent is that people wanted a Tiana ball gown because when we got Tiana she did not have a ball gown she just had the regular skirt which was fine which still is fine but Tiana should have a ball gown and now we got a ball gown but it's not it and we finally got a Merida but we only got half of Merida <sighs> in conclusion I think you won't be surprised that I don't really like these ball gowns now I don't hate them but I definitely also don't like them having said that I will also say that I am glad Lego did them and hear me out I think that a Lego making them shows that they are willing to experiment with both the mini dolls and the Disney princess theme which is a thing that I like very very much I do not like this execution here but in general I do welcome some experimentation I mean the whole mini dolls thing is a huge experiment on Lego's part so if Lego weren't open to experimentation we would have never gotten the mini dolls in the first place so some experimentation is definitely good also I hope we never see these crystal ball guns ever again and now to the biggest question of them all should you get them? I mean you have seen them do you like them? yay! and you have some disposable income lying around? fine get them if not be assured you are not missing out on anything major I for my part am happy that I have them if for no other reason than just for me to have made this video until the next time you click on one of my videos bye bye oh it's raining oh yeah it's raining I don't think this umbrella works as advertised but luckily the crystal storage will help keep the hairstyle intact and on a completely unrelated note can you guess which set this is? there's some construction work being done next to our apartment building and today everything shook so violently that this poor Stranger Things house just fell from the shelf and broke 
into what seems here like a thousand pieces. And now I have to figure out, am I going to build it back together or am I just gonna part it out?